Hi, my name is Mr Exum and welcome to my EdTech channel where I show you how to get the most out of technology in the classroom. This video shows you how to get started with OneNote and is ideal for both students and teachers new to this software. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick overview of some of the uh, basics of OneNote. The first thing to understand is how uh, it is arranged. What you've got is you've got notebooks. And that's what that symbol means here. Okay, I can hide that whole navigation area if I want more space. Click on it, I open up my notebooks. At the top here, it tells you what notebook you're in. So these are all my notebooks. And if I want to maybe find one that isn't open on here, but I know I've got it stored, uh, stored or someone shared one with me, then I might be able to find it by clicking more notebooks. Those are all the notebooks that I own. So some of these I don't want on there anymore, but they're there available if I need them. Uh, and if I want to create a whole new, new notebook, I click on that notebooks button again, and I've got the bottom here, I've got add notebook. And that takes me into the uh, adding notebook wizard where you can set up your notebook from scratch. Now this is only for personal notebooks. If you want to set up a class notebook, you'll need to see my separate video that I've made about that. Okay, so I'm going to do a new notebook here just to show you how it would work. Um, okay, so I'm going to call it test. I'm going to call this section one, section two. So you can set up as many sections within that notebook as you want. You can create more of those later. And I click create notebook. And here's my new notebook. So that's now added up to my list of notebooks here. If it's a notebook that's been shared with you, uh, with you by a teacher, then that will appear once you've opened the link from your email, which I've explained how to do in another video. Okay, so within notebooks, you have sections. These are like your file dividers. And so I've got section one, section two, and I can add another section just at the bottom here. So I can add as many sections as I want. And then within each section, I have pages. And these are basically like, imagine sort of individual pages of a notebook or sort of pieces of A4 if you're keeping a, a paper file. Okay, so in section one, I've got a page already started here, untitled page. To give it a title, I just click at the top here. Okay, and I'm going to call it test page one. Okay, now you notice that I've got this font here. Now that's just because I've set that as my default font. You may have a different font. You can change the font very easily by going to the settings option and um, going into options and then you can choose things like what, your what you want your default font to be. So at the moment mine is ink free, but I could change that uh, onto one of the other default fonts. So that's the setup of OneNote. And then what you've got across the top here are tabs. Okay, and for each tab, you have a ribbon. So on the home, we've got things like the font, stuff like that. On insert, all the kind of different things you can put into a page. Draw, I'll go through that in a separate video. And view, just look at a couple of things on view here. Firstly, page color. Okay, you can set up your page color. Sometimes it's nice to have a different color of page. You can even do black and use white uh, drawing on black if you like. Um, and you can also uh, choose whether to have lines or squares um, or just plain. So I can have, if I'm doing maths, maybe I might want some nice squared paper. Maybe it's nice to have lined paper if I'm going to be writing on there. Okay, so there's a few different ways that you can set up that page initially. Don't forget you've got options on right click. If you right click anywhere, you're going to get more options. If you right click on a page, you can copy pages, paste them into different uh, sections if you want to move things around. Um, you can move pages, rename pages. If I right click here, I can add a new page. Right click over here, I can add a new section. So don't forget about right clicking on, on the things to get more options. The page itself is very interesting because it's not like Word where it's fixed. You've pretty much got an endless canvas. So I can zoom all the way out here and I've got a huge amount of space to work with. I'm not fixed by sort of margins and barriers in the same way that you are uh, in normal software. So it's really great. Uh, and anytime you click on a OneNote page and type, it creates a new text box and that can be dragged around. So you, again, you're not fixed in how you do things. So click and type. Uh, and it's very easy to add information in. Always remember the undo and redo buttons, so you don't worry if you make mistakes. And if you do get completely stuck, you can't find something, then always try the tell me what you want button up here at the top, the little light bulb. You know, if I want to change the font and I type in font and I've got font options there, I've got font color, I've got font size, and I can do that all straight from this little menu up here. Um, I can change uh, all sorts of things. So use this 
to find things quickly if you don't know where else to find them. So there we go. OneNote is such a powerful program and has so many more uses than just making notes. Check out my OneNote quick tip videos for more ways in which to use it. For now though, I hope that was useful and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. See you next time.